हेलो टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस जेकबसन ऑर्गन्स जेकबसन ऑर्गन्स आर स्पेशलाइज ऑर्गन्स विच आर यूज फॉर ऑल फैक्ट्री पर्पज फॉर स्मेलिंग पर्पज इन सर्टन वर्टिब्रेड्स लाइक लिजर्ड्स स्नैक्स एंड मैमल्स बट दीज ऑर्गन आर मोस्टली एक्टिव इन लिजर्ड्स एंड स्नैक दीज आर ऑल फैक्ट्री सेंस ऑर्गन प्रेजेंट इन साइड द नेजल कैविटी ऑफ दीज एनिमल्स दीज जेकोपसन ऑर्गन आर ऑल्सो नोन एज वो मीरो नेजल ऑर्गन इफ वी लुक एट द डायग्राम ऑफ ए स्नैक इन द हेड रीजन ऑफ स्नैक you can see in the diagram this is the eye on the upper side there is a brain and this is the oral cavity which contain a long protruding tongue and just above the oral cavity there is a nasal cavity which opens outside through nostrils so these organ jacobson organs are located in the nasal cavity these are in the form of pears and they are like c shape or mushroom shape or crescent shape these jacobson organ are present inside the nasal cavity of a snake if you look at the diagram of a lizard like toadra or geckos or some other lizards their head region contain oral cavity which leads into digestive system on top of the oral cavity there is nasal cavity which opens outside through nostrils and uh, this is the eye jacobson organ are located in the nostrils in the nasal cavity in the form of a crescent shape structure c shape structure or a mushroom shape structure in the form of a pouch so this is a jacobson organ present in nasal cavity so these are paired auxiliary olfactory sense organ present in certain vertebrates these are located in soft tissue of nasal septum so it they usually found in pair like they are two in both nostrils of the animals these uh, organs are usually present in lizards and snake so now we are going to discuss the function of jacobson organ Jacobson organs are usually used to detect certain chemicals which are airborne and uh, these chemicals can be pheromones or some other organic materials to detect these chemicals a snake protrude out its tongue which is forked tongue order molecules molecules of organic compounds which are pheromones or any other compounds coming out the from the body of prey predator or or a mate attaches with the tongue when this tongue comes back into oral cavity these molecule dissolve and move towards nasal cavity in the nasal cavity jacobson organ contain sensory organ sensory neurons in the epithelial cells of jacobson organ these sensory cells take message of these chemicals through nerve into the brain into the hypothalamus part of the brain where they are detected that what is this chemical and from where this chemical is coming from in the same way a lizard can also detect certain pheromones in three ways number 1 when tongue comes out from the oral cavity certain chemicals attaches with it when tongue moves back into the oral cavity these chemical dissolve and move into the nasal cavity which is on the top of the oral cavity here jacobson organ is present certain neurons present in the epithelium of jacobson organ detect these chemicals and transport these chemicals to the in the form of a nerve impulse to the hypothalamus of brain where they are detected the other a possible way is from nostril certain chemicals from nose enter into nasal uh, jacobson organ from where these chemicals can be detected and some lizards can also detect these chemical through eyes 
बिकॉज आइस कंटेन लिक्विड वाटर टीयर्स वैन सर्टन केमिकल्स और ऑर्डर मालिक्यूल्स डिजोल्व इन द टीयर्स दीज केमिकल्स दैन ट्रांसपोर्टेड थ्रू अ डक्ट विच इज नॉन एज लेक्रेमल ट्रक्ट एंड दैन ट्रांसपोर्टेड इन टू चेकुपसन ऑर्गन फ्राम वेयर दे आर डिटेक्टेड विद हेल्प ऑफ सेंसरी न्यूरोन्स प्रेजेंट इन द एपिथीलियम ऑफ जेकबसबन ऑर्गन जेकबसबन ऑर्गन ऑल्सो हैज एस कनेक्शन विद द ओरल कैविटी सो इन दिस वे दीज एनिमल्स कैन डिटेक्ट कैन स्मेल सर्टन केमिकल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द एयर विच फ्राम दीज केमिकल्स मे बी कमिंग फ्राम अ प्रे दीज केमिकल्स मे बी कमिंग फ्राम अ प्रेडिटर और फ्राम अ ह्यूमन बींग और फ्राम ए मेट रिप्रोडक्टिव मेट सो दीज जेकब्स एंड ऑर्गन कैन डिटेक्ट स्पेसिफिक ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स विच आर समटाइम्स फेरामोन्स इन दिस वे दे कैन ओफेंस एंड डिफेंस देयर बॉडीज so i hope it makes sense and uh, that's all for today see you in the next lecture